consult and today another topic that i want to share with you okay i have one mom who messes me privately and asking me about the situation that she got okay she has a really small breast okay she has a really tiny breast and she's really worried dahil matakaw na matakaw yung baby niya so the baby is always hungry all the time and she's really worried if the baby is really satisfied every time she breastfeeds so kailangan niya ng tulong kailangan niya ng tulong kung paano niya i-manage yung kaliit-liit niyang breast and the baby is uh, like a monster eater okay <laughs> sorry but i have to you use the word monster eater so i've i've demonstrated this one before about having a small breast and a bigger breast okay so maraming there there's some of my my uh, patients in our clinic that they have really tiny breasts and they also have really really big breasts so what's the difference in this when when it comes to milk supply so it depends on how healthy you are Pag healthy na healthy si mommy, mommy has really healthy pregnancy, mommy has really good iron level, blood pressure is normal, no gestational diabetes, hindi na stress si mommy, uh, mommy is always breastfeeding every two or three hours, minsan nagpa-pump, so the milk supply is well maintained. Ibig sabihin, even if you have a small breast, your milk supply is maintained. If you have a big breast and you have all those things that I mentioned, you're healthy and everything, but yet sometimes you feel like your breast mo hindi full. Again, it's not the size of your breast that matters. It's what you produce. Kung ano yung produce mo. Kahit sabihin mo, my breast is small, my breast is big, but if you produce tons of milk, even if you're smaller breast, then you have better advantage. The only disadvantage, okay, disadvantage, okay, na hindi fair dito sa big breast na to. So the only big uh, disadvantage is that itong big breast na to, pag marami siyang gatas, if this mom has tons of milk, she can breastfeed the baby maybe five minutes and the baby's done. The baby's already full because she got tons of milk. She has a big storage capacity. So this baby who breastfeed for five minutes or 10 minutes may not get hungry, hindi magugutom, maybe after, after two or three hours because the milk, mom has tons of milk. If the mom have a smaller breast, take note, okay? If the mom have smaller breast, the baby breastfeed for 30 minutes because the baby has to get most of the milk inside the breast before the baby gets full. So, mas maminsan matagal mag breastfeed si baby in a smaller breast and only small storage capacity so maybe after an hour the baby is hungry again gutumulis baby after an hour because these breasts only have a small storage capacity unlike dito sa breast nato which is a big breast that has a big storage capacity so you may be asking why is it I feel like I have a small breast. I feel like I have tons of milk, but my baby always breastfeed every hour. Bakit? Bakit si baby, marami akong gatas, I have lots of milk, and then the baby breastfeed for 30 minutes, but the baby is hungry again after 30 minutes, or after maybe even 45 minutes or one hour. Bakit? Because again, your storage capacity is smaller so, kung whatever the baby is getting doon sa small storage mo, yun na yung limit niya for one hour. Gutom ulit siya. Baby is hungry again after one hour. But if you have the big breast, you got tons of milk, the baby got, makuha na ni baby yung 
most of the amount of milk that the baby gets, then maybe two or three hours, baby is still not hungry. So don't miss and this is this is sometimes the confusion of moms with a, in regards to storage capacity of the breast. Because there are some moms in our clinic, Asian women, because again, I mentioned this before, most Asian have smaller breasts as compared to Caucasian or Western women. So what happened was sometimes they don't understand and they didn't explain ng mga healthcare provider that this is what's gonna happen. Uh, your your milk supply is is your storage capacity is smaller so that means the baby only get whatever the storage you have right now after one hour nagre refill ka right every time every time you empty this small breast nagre refill ka every hour that mm -hmm, there's a condition to that you have full refill of your mouth Pag ini-empty mo to. Pag talagang pina-empty mo to. Pero kung hindi mo, if the baby is not fully emptying your breast, hindi sila nagpo-fully refill. Nakuha nyo? Okay, so again, ulitin ko. I'm gonna repeat it again. Repeat it again. If you are not emptying your breast, the refill will not be so effective and it affects your milk supply. So you really need to ensure pag ikay my small breast to make sure that the baby empty your breast fully before you switch here, the other side. Because if you don't, then you may have a tendency if you're gonna be doing this every day for a few weeks, for months without emptying your breast all the time, then it may affect your milk supply. Dito nangyayari mga problema minsan sa kalimitan sa mga nanay na namimit ko sa clinic na minsan they really tried hard to to maintain their milk supply pero hindi nila naiintindihan na yung an empty breast will produce more milk. A not empty breast will not refill more milk. We want to refill. Kailangan nating mag-refill. The refilling will will happen an hour after you breastfeed. Okay? Kaya sinasuggest ko minsan, if you want to pump after you breastfeed, you maybe you can wait maybe 30 minutes bago ka mag-pump. Para you allow yourself to, to have a break, you allow yourself to refill. Okay? Um, pero kung sinanay ka, if you're always tired, lagi kang pagod, lack of sleep, na stress ka, you're not eating good, um, there are just so many things in your mind that you cannot focus on breastfeeding, sometimes you produce less, okay? So it depends, maraming consequences, maraming factors kung bakit may mga nanay na they don't really have enough milk supply because of this. And they're not understanding. Sasabihin nila, oh, I've been eating greens. I've been taking this supplement. Again, speaking of supplement, please be very careful whatever you're taking supplement. Dahil marami akong nakikita sa mga tabi-tabi, sa mga department store. Anywhere saying this is good for milk, this is good to increase your milk supply, but they are not really proven effective, okay? You're wasting your money. They're very expensive. I would rather see you cooking your own, buying your own vegetables, um, uh, improving your diet. Doon mo makikita na effective yung ginagawa niyo and hindi na sasayang whatever. You're not wasting your money for the supplements that doesn't really work. Okay? I've said this because it's proven in our research that those things are not really effective, proven effective. Okay? Depende lang siguro sa katawan ng tao na sasabihin, oh, I've been taking these supplements for when I have my first baby and it works for me. Maybe for some women it works for you, but not for everyone. So be very careful when you are um, using any supplement to increase your milk supply because sometimes it may not work for you and you just waste your money. So again, uh, going back to the big and small, the big breast, 
you have a big advantage because you have a big storage capacity but don't be too comfortable with that because minsan if you're not uh, efficiently latching your baby or making sure that the baby is getting enough amount of milk sometimes it may cost you to drop your milk supply so maintain that one even though you know that you have big storage capacity kung ikaw si nanay that you have a really small breast right now and you're worried don't be worried as long as you're doing your your breastfeeding effectively uh you're eating healthy you're resting you have you have healthy body dahil it's not a matter of how big your breast is it is a matter on how you produce your milk okay i've seen lots of moms in my clinic that they have really small breasts but they're able to breastfeed exclusively for more than a year or even two years with a small breast so do not underestimate this small breast because this small breast is can also maintain a really healthy baby okay so just make sure you you express more you pump more if you can make sure when you latch your baby make sure that the latch is really deep para talaga may stimulate your breast more even though you have a small breast do not underestimate it dahil i have seen so many women who have smaller than this smaller pa smaller than this who really was able to exclusively breastfeed even though with a really tiny breast like smaller than this so i hope you learned something from this video i want to challenge you if you can do your comments see what breastfeeding experiences you have uh about your milk supply if you have any questions i would gladly answer your questions every day i've i've tinitingnan ko yung mga messages niyo or mga comments niyo and i make sure na nasasagot ko yung mga mga tanong niyo okay uh if you want to message me privately kung hindi kayo comfortable to ask me questions in public you can privately message me at i promise you sasagutin ko yun if you have any suggestions about the topic that you want to know, kung buntis ka ngayon or or if you're struggling going back to work, I have so many videos that you can watch about mom going back to work, uh, maintaining your milk supply is what you really need dal ang mahal mahal ngayon ng formula. But if there's no other choice, na kailangan yun talaga ng formula, go for it. As long as you're feeding your baby, you're making sure your baby is healthy kailangan natin yun we need help that's why i'm doing this video para matutulungan ko kayo dahil alam kong ako lang yata ang lactation consultant na nagaalay ng tulong sa mga nanay diyan sa Philippines and some other countries because yun tigur ito ang path ko na sinusunod ko since pandemic sabi ko sa sarili ko kahit kahit konting tulong na i-share ko sa inyo Na, nakaka nakaka relate kayo at may natutunan kayo for me i'm very grateful for that sa mga gumagaya sa akin make sure you doing it right okay kalmitan kasi minsan yung gumagaya sa akin they're just um na, nako nagiging confused tuloy yung mga nanay so kung gumagaya ka sa akin make sure you teaching it right kilala ko kayo kung sino kayong gumagaya sa akin so bye for now Thanks for watching. Please continue to subscribe or subscribe this video, share this video, or do like, do comments para makikita ko kung ano yung mga experiences niyo at may share niyo sa ibang mga nanay. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.